Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to lecture number 24 of the course on statistics and probability. Students, you will recall that in the last lecture, we discussed in detail the concept of mathematical expectation. And we dealt with this concept with reference to discrete probability distributions. Today, I will begin with the Chebyshev's inequality. And after that, we will proceed to the concept of continuous probability distributions. As you now see on the screen, the Chebyshev's inequality in the case of a probability distribution is stated as follows. If x is a random variable having mean mu and variance sigma square, and if k is any positive constant, then the probability that a value of x falls within k standard deviations of the mean is at least 1 minus 1 over k square. Stated differently, the Chebyshev's inequality is given the probability distribution of the random variable x with mean mu and standard deviation sigma, the probability of observing a value of x that differs from mu by k or more standard deviations cannot exceed 1 over k square. Students, aap to keh rahe honge ki ye to kuch bahut hi confusing situation hai. Dekhiye, iska to naam hi is qadar sweet hai, Chebyshev, ki isko to samajhna bahut hi zaruri. Aisi koi baat hi nahi hai ki aap confuse ho. Seedhi si baat hai ki jo statement maine pehle di, that was one way of talking about it. Aur jab maine dusri statement di, all I was doing was that I was stating the same thing, but I was doing it through the rule of complementation. Aapko yaad hai na, ki agar A ek event hai, to uska complement jo hai, that is A bar, to agar A ki probability 1 over k square ho, to uska jo complement hai, uski probability 1 minus 1 over k square hogi. So I would like to encourage you as I said once earlier, please shed off your fear of probability theory and try to understand every concept step by step by a methodological approach. And believe me, if you do it patiently, you will, inshallah, understand it quite well. Let me now apply this uh, Shebyshev's theorem to the example of the number of petals on the flowers of a particular species that we considered in the last lecture. As you now see on the screen, if a biologist is interested in the number of petals on a particular flower, this number ranges from 3 to 9, and each one of these numbers will have its own probability. The probability distribution is 0 0.05, 0 0.10, 0 0.20, and so on, against the x values 3, 4, 5, and so on. Now, the mean of this distribution is 5.925, as you will recall from the last lecture, and the standard deviation comes out to be 1.3. According to the Chebyshev's inequality, the probability is at least 1 minus 1 over 2 square, that is equal to 0 0.75, that x will lie between mu minus 2 sigma and mu plus 2 sigma, that is between 5.9 minus 2 times 1.3 and 5.9 plus 2 times 1.3. Now these two values come out to be 3.3 and 8.5. Or hum jo baat keh rahe hain wo ye hai 
کہ اس بات کی پروببلیٹی کم از کم پچہتر فیصد ہے کہ اگر ہم ایک فلاور رینڈملی چوز کریں تو اس میں جو نمبر آف پیٹلز ہوں گی دیٹ نمبر ول لائی بٹوین 3.3 اینڈ 8.5 آسان لفظوں میں ہم یہ کہہ رہے ہیں کہ بہت زیادہ فلاورز اگر اس اسپیسیز کے ہوں تو کم از کم پچہتر فیصد اس ٹائپ کے ہوں گے جن کے اندر نمبر آف فلاورز ول لائی سم ویئر بٹوین 3.3 سو آپ نے دیکھا کہ اٹ از ناٹ ایز ڈیفیکلٹ ایز ون کنسیوز وین یو ریڈ اے میتھمیٹیکل اکویژن ایسے لگتا ہے کہ پتہ نہیں کیا چیز ہے ایکچولی میں کئی دفعہ اپنے اسٹوڈنٹ سے یہ بات کیا کرتی ہوں کہ اف یو ڈیولپ دی ابلٹی ٹو ریڈ میتھمیٹیکل اکویژنز as if they are verses of Milton and Shakespeare, you will be very well off. Aap equation ko dekh kar, ek dam se ghabra na jaya kijiye, balke try to read it as if it is a statement written in ordinary English. Let us apply this um, concept to yet another example. As you now see on the screen, suppose you invest a fixed sum of money in each of five business ventures, assume that you know that 70% of such ventures are successful. The outcomes of the ventures are independent of one another and the probability distribution for the number of successful ventures out of five is given by x values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, where x, of course, represents the number of ventures that are successful. And the probabilities are 0 0.002, 0 0.029, 0 0.132, and so on. Students, first of all, you can see کہ چونکہ ہم نمبر آف وینچرز کی بات کر رہے ہیں وچ آر سکسیزفل تو ظاہر ہے کہ اگر آپ نے ان آل فائیو وینچرز میں انویسٹمنٹ کی ہے تو چھ ہی پاسبلٹیز ہیں نا کہ نان آف دم مائٹ سکسیڈ ون مائٹ سکسیڈ ٹو تھری فور اور آل فائیو آف دم مائٹ سکسیڈ اس لیے دا ایکس ویلیوز ول آبویسلی گو فرام زیرو ٹو فائیو اور اس کے بعد جو پروبیبلٹیز اویلیبل ہیں بیکاز آف دا پاسٹ ایکسپیرینس بیکاز آئی ایم شیور دیٹ یو ول ریکگنائز کہ یہ جو پروبیبلٹیز ہیں دے کین اونلی بی فاؤنڈ تھرو دی ریلیٹو فریکوینسی ڈیفینیشن آف پروبیبلٹی پاسٹ ایکسپیرینس کئی سالوں کا اور اس کے اندر ہم نے دیکھا کہ پوائنٹ زیرو زیرو ٹو پرسینٹ آف دا ٹائم ناٹ ایون ون آف دا فائیو وینچرز ور سکسیزفل اینڈ سو آن The sum of these probabilities will have to be one if we are in a position to say that we are dealing with a complete, discrete probability distribution. Proceeding to the questions of this problem, we have number one, find mu, that is the expected value of x and interpret the result. Number two, find the standard deviation. Number three, graph the distribution of this random variable x and its probabilities. And number four, apply either the Chebyshev's rule or the empirical rule to approximate the probability that x falls in the interval mu plus minus two sigma. And after applying these rules, also compare them with the actual probability of lying in this interval. And also, we are interested in determining, should we expect to observe fewer than two successful ventures out of five? Now, students, we have so many parts to this question, but of course, when we do them step by step, we are able to do all of them. As you now see on the screen, 
the first quantity that is the mean of this distribution comes out to be 3.50 and it is according to exactly the same formula that I have already discussed with you. And as far as the interpretation of this answer is concerned, of course, this can be said that on the average, the number of successful ventures out of five will equal 3.5. अब इस तरह की डिस्कशंस कई मरतबा हो चुकी हैं साढ़े तीन वेंचर तो सक्सेसफुल नहीं हो सकते ना किसी एक वन टाइम इन्वेस्टमेंट में लेकिन वही पहले वाली बात कि अगर ये इस कस्म का एक्सपेरिमेंट बार बार रिपीट किया जाए तो हम ये एक्सपेक्ट कर सकते हैं कि इन एनी टेन सच वेंचर्स वी विल हैव थर्टी फाइव successful ventures out of 50 that we have invested in. The next thing is the standard deviation. And as you now see on the screen, the standard deviation is computed by the square root of the variance. And the variance itself is expected value of x minus mu whole square. Hence, we need to construct a column of x minus mu. Mu to ham nikal hi chuke hai and it is uh, 3.5. So, 0 minus 3.5 gives us minus 3.5. 1 minus 3.5 is minus 2.5 and so on. Squaring this column, we obtain x minus mu whole square and multiplying this particular column by the column of, of probabilities, we obtain the column that you see at the end of the table and the sum of this column is 1.05. Now, since the variance has come out to be 1.05, as you just noticed, therefore, the standard deviation is the positive square root of this quantity and that is equal to 1.02. Aapne note kiya ke is particular problem mein, instead of applying the shortcut formula that I conveyed to you last time, that is the variance of x is equal to e of x square minus e of x whole square. Today, I applied the direct formula and the reason is that I wanted to um, convey to you that in many situations, if your mu is a convenient number, then you do not necessarily have to go for the shortcut formula. Ye do parts to humne cover kar liye. We have found the mean and the standard deviation. Aye, ab zara recall karte hain ke what was the next part of the questions that we had in this problem. As you now see on the screen, the next question was graph this particular distribution. And as I have indicated earlier, we can draw the line chart of this distribution because x is a discrete variable. The next point is to apply the Chebyshev's inequality. Or aapko yaad hai ki hamara question ye tha ke hum uh, Chebyshev's inequality ke tehet determine kare ke mu minus 2 sigma or mu plus 2 sigma ke darmiyan uh, kitna, uh, kitni values hai. So, let us look at the screen once again and notice that mu plus minus 2 sigma is equal to 3.50 plus minus 2 times 1.02 and this comes out to be the interval from 1.46 and 5.54. Students, aap ghor kijiye ki ye jo line chart abhi aapne dekha, um, this is approximately like a mound or a hump. Agar hum isi ko histogram ke zariye depict karte, jaisa ke baaz books mein, Aap dekhenge ke although they are dealing with a discrete variable, 
they are uh, sometimes representing its um, visual picture in the form of a histogram or uski wajah galiban yahi hoti hai ke hum jo uski overall shape hai na uske bare mein ek behtar uh, idea uh, develop kar sakte hain by drawing a histogram agar aap ye kare to aap dekhte hain ke is particular distribution mein we do have something like a hump and it is not um, extremely skewed it is only moderately skewed therefore we are in addition to applying the chebyshev's theorem we are also in the in a position to apply the empirical rule as you recall um, a few lectures ago i also mentioned the empirical rule ke agar hamari distribution approximately symmetric hai then 68.26% approximately of the values will lie within the interval mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma 95.44% approximately will lie between mu minus 2 sigma and mu plus 2 sigma and 99.7% approximately 100% will lie between mu minus 3 sigma and mu plus 3 sigma i hope you recall all these points that i mentioned to you earlier so in this particular example now that i have determined the two points mu minus 2 sigma and mu plus 2 sigma um i am now in a position to apply both the chebyshev's rule and the empirical rule as you now see on the screen the value 1.46 is toward the left of the distribution and the value 5.54 is to the extreme right and according to the chebyshev's rule at least 75% of the values lie in this range but according to the empirical rule approximately 95% lie in this range aaye ab hum in values ko jo actual probability hai na of lying within this interval usse compare karte hain as you now see on the screen in this probability distribution the probability of 2 plus the probability of 3 plus the probability of 4 plus the probability of 5 is equal to 0.969 and we can say that 96.9% of the probability distribution lies within two standard deviations of the mean is hisab se aapne dekha ke jo hamari actual probability hai of lying within that interval that is consistent with both the chebyshev's rule and the empirical rule kyunki ye distribution hump shaped hai empirical rule was doing better than the chebyshev's kyunki chebyshev to sirf itna bata sakta tha ki kam az kam 75% hai empirical rule ne usko zyada accurately bataya ki approximately 95% hai aur abhi jab humne actual actual probabilities compute ki for this range we found that it is 96.9% quite close to what we had from the empirical rule students the last part of this uh, problem was would you expect to have fewer than two successful ventures in this situation let us uh, try to solve this problem as you see on the screen now the exact probability that x is less than or equal to 1 that is x is less fewer than 2 is 0.002 plus 0.029 and that is 0.031 consequently we can say that in a single such experiment the probability is very small only 3% that we will have less than 2 successful ventures out of 5 so if we have to make a decision in this regard then we can be quite happy 
कि भाई दो से कम नहीं इस बात का चांस तो बहुत कम है स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द वे वी ट्राई टू इंटरप्रेट मैथमेटिकल इक्वेजन्स एंड वी ट्राई टू अप्लाई दोज रिजल्ट दैट वी ऑप्टेन मैथमेटिकली टू रियल वर्ल्ड सिचुएशंस टू आवर एडवांटेज मीन और स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन का आपस में चोली दामन का साथ है मीन कंप्यूट कीजिए स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन कंप्यूट कीजिए एंड ड्रॉ द ग्राफ ऑफ द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इफ यू कैन एंड यू नो यू हैव अ सर्टन आइडिया रिगार्डिंग द टू लिमिट्स विद इन विच द बल्क ऑफ योर डेटा लाइज और राइट we have completed the elementary discussion of discrete random variables and their probability distributions students the next very exciting and important area is continuous probability distributions and the most important distribution that you will study in this regard after a few lectures is the normal distribution आप कहेंगे कि ये कोर्स तो मुश्किल से मुश्किल तर होता चला जा रहा है देखिए मज़ा भी तो इसी में है ना एक्साइटमेंट के साथ उसको करें एंड एक्सेप्ट इट एज अ चैलेंज रादर दैन बींग इंटिमिडेटेड एंड पेसिमिस्टिक इट्स इट्स सो मच फन इफ यू आर एबल टू ट्राई टू गेट इन्वॉल्व इन दी फिलासफी ऑफ एनी सब्जेक्ट एंड then you are able to learn better as you now see on the screen a random variable x is defined to be continuous if it can assume every possible value in an interval a b where a and b may either be finite quantities or they can be minus infinity and plus infinity respectively the function f of x in this situation is called the probability density function and it is abbreviated to pdf sometimes we simply say density function of the random variable x ab aap kahenge ki ye density ka lafz kahan se aa gaya phir se wo physics ki jo डेफिनेशंस हैं वो जहन में आती हैं नाउ दीज आर मैथमेटिकल पॉइंट्स दैट आई वुड नॉट लाइक टू गो इन टू द डिटेल ऑफ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर कोर्स एंड इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू स्टडी द मैथमेटिक्स कोर्सेज इन दिस रिगार्ड स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द डिस्क्रीट रैंडम वेरिएबल एंड द कंटिन्यूस वो बात बहुत पहले पहले लेक्चर में कर दी गई थी कि डिस्क्रीट वेरिएबल वो है जनरली व्हेन वी आर काउंटिंग फॉर एग्जांपल द नंबर ऑफ सिस्टर्स यू माइट हैव और द नंबर ऑफ बुक्स इन योर बैग और कंटिन्यूस वेरिएबल क्या था व्हेन वी आर मेजरिंग सो द हाइट ऑफ अ पर्सन कैन बी एनी नंबर बिटवीन फॉर एग्जाम्पल फाइव फीट फोर इंचज एंड सिक्स फीट so it can be 5.7 feet or it can be 5.77192 feet aapko yaad hai na ye discussions to hum bahut detail mein bahut pehle kar chuke hain now because of the continuity the graph of the probability density function of a continuous probability distribution is going to be a continuous curve as you now see on the screen स्टूडेंट्स कंटिन्यूस प्रॉबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के केस में प्रॉबिलिटीज कैसे कंप्यूट की जाती हैं नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एंड आई वुड लाइक यू टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट रियली वेल देखिए इस सिचुएशन में वी हैव टू कंप्यूट एरियाज अंडर द कर्व विद इन सर्टन रेंजेस इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द प्रॉबिलिटी दैट वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज that i want to find the probability that the next person who walks into this particular room is going to be somewhere between 5 feet 10 inches and 5 feet 11 inches agar main ye probability compute karna chahu 
तो हाइट की जो प्रॉबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन है और उसकी जो कर्व है उसके अंडर आई विल बी फाइंडिंग द एरिया बिटवीन द टू वैल्यूज फाइव फीट टेन इंचज एंड फाइव फीट इलेवन इंचज इसकी वजह क्या है दिस अगेन रिलेट्स टू प्योर मैथमेटिक्स एंड इट रिलेट्स टू इंटेग्रल कैलकुलस हम इस कोर्स में इन डिटेल्स में नहीं जाएंगे लेकिन हम इसको अप्लाई यकीन करेंगे और बार हा करेंगे इसलिए कि दिस इज दी मेथड बाई विच वी विल बी कंप्यूटिंग ऑल द प्रॉबिलिटीज सो द क्रक्स ऑफ द मैटर इज दैट इन केस ऑफ अ कंटिन्यूस रैंडम वेरिएबल वी विल बी फाइंडिंग द एरियाज टू रिप्रजेंट प्रॉबिलिटीज एंड सिंस द टोटल प्रॉबिलिटी इज ऑलवेज वन therefore the total area under the curve of any continuous probability distribution is also always going to be 1 ye jo baatein maine abhi aap ko aap se kahi in ki buniyad pe we can say that a continuous probability distribution has the following two very important properties number 1 f of x is greater than or equal to 0 for all values of x and number 2 the integral from minus infinity to infinity of f of x with respect to x is equal to 1 also the probability that x takes on a value in the interval cd where c is less than d is given by the integral from c to d of f of x with respect to x and as you see on the screen the area that we will be computing will be of the form that is shaded in the figure that is in front of you pure maths ki roo se ye to aap jante hi hain that an integral a definite integral gives you the areas of the form that you just saw in the figure ab aap ek bada interesting point note kare as you see on the screen if we find the integral of f of x with respect to x and we find it from k to k the answer is going to be zero in other words if we say that if i am interested in finding the probability that x is equal to k then i should integrate in this manner that i go start from k and i also end at k my answer is going to be zero iska mafhoom ye hua ke it is an impossible event you aapko yaad to hai ke zero to probability sirf tabhi hoti hai na when we are dealing with an impossible event to ye maine kya kaha मैंने कहा कि प्रॉबिलिटी दैट एक्स इज इक्वल टू के इज इक्वल टू जीरो प्रॉबिलिटी के एक शख्स की हाइट फाइव फीट इलेवन इंचज हो एग्जैक्टली exactly, इस बात की प्रॉबिलिटी तो जीरो है अब आप कहेंगे कि ये तो अजीब और गरीब आप बात कर रहे हैं कि एक क्या ये पॉसिबल नहीं है कि एक शख्स की हाइट फाइव फीट इलेवन इंचज हो स्टूडेंट्स जस्ट रिकॉल वट आई सेट टू यू इन द वेरी बिगिनिंग ऑफ दिस कोर्स आपको याद है ना कि मैंने कहा था कि अगर आप मेजर कर रहे हैं कि जी दिस नंबर इज दिस हाइट फॉर एग्जांपल इज 11 इंचेस एक्चुअली इट इज समवेयर बिटवीन 10 एंड हाफ इंचेस एंड 11 एंड हाफ इंचेस सो मैथमेटिकली स्पीकिंग हम आइडेंटिफाई नहीं कर सकते हम पिन पॉइंट नहीं कर सकते कि एक शख्स की हाइट एग्जैक्टली इस पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू के बराबर है बट वी कैन ऑलवेज स्पेसिफाई एन इंटरवल के उस शख्स की हाइट इस और इस के दरमियान है एंड इफ वी अप्लाई दिस लॉजिक स्टूडेंट्स देन ऑफ कोर्स वी आर एबल टू फाइंड द इंटीग्रल because the lower limit will be say k1 and the upper limit will be k2 and we find the integral and the answer is not zero 
अगर हम उस इंटरवल को बहुत नैरो भी कर देंगे तो भी K1 और K2 उसकी जो दो एंड पॉइंट्स हैं उनके अंदर एक गैप होगा और उस बेस के अगेंस्ट यू विल हैव स्ट्रिप अंडर योर कर्व और उस स्ट्रिप के दरमियान यू हैव अ सर्टन रीजन हुज एरिया इज फाउंड बाय फाइंडिंग दिस इंटीग्रल एंड दिस एरिया रिप्रेजेंट्स द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट द हाइट ऑफ दिस पर्सन lies in that range so this is a very very important and interesting point that the probability of any particular point in case of a continuous probability distribution is zero aur iske baraks aapne note kiya tha ki jab hum discrete probability distribution ki baat karte the to aapko probabilities hamesha particular points par milti thi इन केस ऑफ अकाउंटेबल वेरिएबल एक्स इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री उन पॉइंट्स के ऊपर ही आपको प्रॉबिलिटीज मिलती थी और उनके दरमियान जो रीजन्स थे उन पर प्रॉबिलिटीज वर जीरो अब यहाँ एक तरह से ये कहा जा सकता है कि सम वॉट इट इज़ एन अपोजिट काइंड ऑफ अ सिचुएशन कि यहाँ पर किसी भी पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट की प्रॉबिलिटी आपको नहीं मिलेगी यू कैन नेवर से दैट द हाइट ऑफ दिस पर्सन वॉज 11.1291 क्योंकि आपसे काउंटर आर्ग्यू किया जा सकता है कि जिस चीज़ को आपने मेजर किया है एज 11.91 और वट एवर आई जस्ट सेड वो एक्चुअली है 11.905 और 11.915 के दरमियान सो इट इज ऑलवेज एन इंटरवल एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फैक्ट स्टूडेंट्स इन अ कंटिन्यूस सिचुएशन you can express the probability of any particular interval c to d in four different ways that i will now explain as you now see on the screen you can write probability that x lies between c and d such that you write c is less than or equal to x less than or equal to d or you write c is less than x less than equal to d or you write c is less than or equal to x less than d or you may write c is less than x less than d yani aap equal sign dale ya na dale it doesn't matter because wo jo equal agar aap dalte तो आप कहते हैं कि c उसके अंदर है इफ़ यू से कि c इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू x, तो आप कह रहे हैं कि x c के बराबर हो सकता है लेकिन अगर आप नहीं डाल रहे तो आप कह रहे हैं कि c से आगे हम शुरू हो गए हैं लेकिन c इज़ नॉट इंक्लूडेड तो वही बात कि जब प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ x इक्वल टू c इज़ गोइंग टू बी ज़ीरो तो वो ज़ीरो उसके अंदर शामिल करें या ना करें The answer is going to be the same. अगर आप discrete probability distribution की बात कर रहे हैं तो equal डाला जाए या ना डाला जाए that makes a lot of difference. वहाँ पर तो इसकी बहुत ज़्यादा अहमियत है लेकिन यहाँ पर it is just the opposite. Students, let me now uh, explain to you the concept of the distribution function of a continuous random वेरिएबल आपको याद है ना कि इन द केस ऑफ अ डिस्क्रीट सिचुएशन वी वर सिंपली क्यूमुलेटिंग द प्रॉबिलिटीज द वे वी डेड वेन वी डेड द क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन द फर्स्ट वैल्यू एज इट इज दैट प्लस द नेक्स्ट गेव एस द नेक्स्ट वन एंड सो ऑन लेकिन अब चूंकि सम का तो कोई uh, काम ही नहीं है सिग्मा साइन तो इन्वॉल्व ही नहीं हो रहा लिहाजा वी हैव टू डील विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन विद रेफरेंस टू इंटीग्रेशन जैसे मैंने कहा इंटीग्रल्स ही हमें इसमें बारहा कंप्यूट करना होंगे बिकॉज इंटीग्रल्स ही तो हैं विच विल गिव अस ऑल द डिफरेंट प्रॉबिलिटीज दैट वी वॉन्ट 
तो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन भी इंटीग्रेशन के जरिए मिलेगा एंड दैट इंटीग्रल विल ऑलवेज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फिनिटी एंड विल गो अप टू अ पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू ए जहाँ तक की प्रॉबिलिटी हम निकालना चाह रहे हैं एज यू नाउ सी ऑन द स्क्रीन कैपिटल एफ ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू द प्रॉबिलिटी दैट एक्स इज लेस दैन और इक्वल टू ए एक्जैक्टली द सेम डेफिनेशन दैट वी डिड इन द केस ऑफ द डिस्क्रीट रैंडम वेरिएबल एंड दिस प्रॉबिलिटी दैट एक्स इज लेस दैन और इक्वल टू ए इज इक्वल टू द इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू ए ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स इफ वी ड्रॉ द ग्राफ ऑफ द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन ऑफ अ कंटिन्यूस रैंडम वेरिएबल स्टूडेंट्स यू विल फाइंड दैट द ग्राफ स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द लेवल जीरो एंड इट रीच इज द लेवल वन एंड दिस हैपन्स इन अ कंटिन्यूस फैशन एंड देर इज नो गैप एंड नो जम्प द वे यू हैड इन द केस ऑफ द डिस्क्रीट रैंडम वेरिएबल वजह साफ जाहिर है उस वक्त हम डिस्क्रीट वेरिएबल से डील कर रहे थे एंड वी वर बाउंड टू हैव ऑल दोज जम्प्स इस वक्त हम कंटिन्यूस वेरिएबल से डील कर रहे हैं इसलिए आवर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन इज अ कंटिन्यूस कर्व स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम लेवल जीरो एंड रीचिंग द लेवल वन स्टूडेंट्स देर इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन स्मॉल एफ ऑफ एक्स विच इज द प्रॉबिलिटी डेंसिटी फंक्शन ऑफ आवर कंटिन्यूस रैंडम वेरिएबल एंड कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एक्स विच इज द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन एंड एज यू नाउ सी ऑन द स्क्रीन द रिलेशनशिप इज दैट द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एक्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स इक्वल्स स्मॉल एफ ऑफ एक्स लेट मी नाउ इलेट्रेट ऑल दीज कॉन्सेप्ट a lot many concepts that i have uh, conveyed to you with the help of a simple example suppose that we are interested in finding the value of k so that the function f of x defined as follows may be a density function the function is f of x is equal to k times x for the range x lying between 0 and 2 but the function f of x is equal to 0 elsewhere students ye jo aapne abhi padha ke f of x is equal to something in a certain range but it is equal to 0 elsewhere is ye is qisam ka expression aapko bahut si kitabon mein aur taqreeban har martaba aapko ye milega aur milna chahiye वजह यह है कि जब अगर आप सिर्फ इतना लिख दें कि जी एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू के एक्स फॉर एक्स लाइन बिटवीन जीरो एंड टू तो भी मफहूम तो उसका वही बनेगा लेकिन मैथमेटिकली स्पीकिंग इट इज़ बेटर कि आप उसके साथ वो जो बाकी का है वो भी लिखें कि एक्स इक्वल टू टू के आगे जो सारा इलाका है रियल लाइन का या एक्स एक्सिस का दैट इज द रेंज फ्रॉम टू टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी या एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो से पहले का जो सारा रीजन है माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू जीरो यानी वो जो हमारा एक्स एक्सिस है उसके वो जो बाकी पोर्शनस हैं वहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है वहाँ पे तो हमारा फंक्शन ज़ीरो है इसलिए वी राइट दैट एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो एल्सवेयर एल्सवेयर से मतलब के उस रेंज के अलावा नाउ इफ वी लुक एट द क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू कंप्यूट द प्रॉबिलिटी दैट एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन ऑल्सो द प्रॉबिलिटी दैट एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन वन एंड इन एडिशन we are also interested in finding the distribution function capital f of x of this particular pdf last but not the least 
students we are interested in finding the conditional probability that x is less than half given the information that x lies between 1 by 3 and 2 by 3. In order to solve this problem we will have to apply a methodological approach and if we commence in a step by step manner the very first thing to note is that in order to determine the value of the constant k we will have to apply the two basic properties of probability density function the first one is f of x is greater than or equal to 0 for every x value and the other one as stated earlier that the total area under the curve has to be 1 in other words the integral from minus infinity to infinity of this function has to be 1. Now students ye jo pehli condition hai na k f of x must be greater than or equal to 0. Is problem mein f of x kis cheez ke barabar tha? k x or x values ki range kya di hui hai, hai hume? 0 to 2. To saaf zahir hai ke k jo hai that will have to be a positive number if we want this um, condition to be fulfilled. Agar k negative ho or x ki value 0 or 2 ke darmiyan koi value aap le le for example x equal to 1 to k ki value ho minus 3 to k x kya ho jayega minus 3 into 1 and that is minus 3 to aap ki pehli condition to fulfill nahi hui na that your f of x must be greater than or equal to 0 for that entire range 0 to 2. As you now see on the screen the second condition is satisfied if the integral is equal to 1 and in this problem if we try to compute this integral students we can do it in the manner that is in front of you. The integral from minus infinity to infinity can be split into three parts minus infinity to 0 plus the integral from 0 to 2 plus the integral from 2 to infinity and if this entire quantity is equal to 1 which it must if it is a proper density function then we obtain 1 is equal to the integral from minus infinity to 0 of 0 plus the integral from 0 to 2 of kx plus the integral from 2 to infinity of 0 and this comes out to be equal to 1 is equal to 0 plus k times x square over 2 and the limits 0 to 2 applied on that plus 0 and this is equal to after applying the limits 2k hence k comes out to be equal to half and we have determined the solution to the first part of this question. Now since k has been determined we can say that our probability density function is f of x is equal to half x or x by 2 for the range x lying between 0 and 2 and f of x is equal to 0 elsewhere. Students, aapko yaad hai ke second question ye tha ke what is the probability that x is equal to 1 or third part ye tha ke what is the probability that x is greater than 1. You know for the first question out of these two you do not have to compute any integral for the same reason that I have discussed earlier as you now see on the screen. Since f of x is a continuous probability function therefore the probability that x is equal to 1 is 0 
as stated earlier, the probability of x being equal to any particular value is always 0 in the case of a continuous probability function. But in order to compute the probability that x is greater than 1, of course, we will find the area under the curve, which in this case happens to be a straight line. The area under this line between the values x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. Ye maine kyun kaha ke 1 aur 2 ke darmiyan area find kare? Well, it is obvious. Aap keh rahe hain ke what is the probability that x is greater than 1? To zahir hai ke 1 se aage hum 2 tak ja sakenge aur 2 se aage infinity tak aapko yaad hai ke f of x is equal to 0. So, even if we try to compute the area from 2 to infinity, that answer is going to be 0. So, in essence, all we have to do is to compute the area between 1 and 2. Now, in order to compute this area, of course, we will find the integral from 1 to 2 of f of x, in other words, the integral from 1 to 2 of x over 2 and that comes out to be x square over 4 with the limits 1 to 2 and applying those limits the probability is equal to 3 by 4. Students, agar aap is distribution ke graph ko ek mardapa phir ghor se dekhe, to aap recognize kar lenge ke jo area shaded 1 or 2 ke darmiyan hai, that is exactly 3 by 4 of the entire area under that line between 0 and 2. Ye is liye ke ye jo example hum kar rahe hai, that is an extremely simple example aur humari jo distribution hai, that is giving us a straight line. Is liye geometry, elementary geometry ki roo se, we can even visually compute the area. The situation is not that simple in case of distributions that we encounter in practice. The normal distribution followed by so many um, real life phenomena is totally different from a straight line and similarly the exponential distribution and other distributions. So, la muhala hame integration hi ka sahara lena padta hai aksar aukat mein we will be finding integrals as you will recall in this problem we also want to find the distribution function of this probability distribution as you now see on the screen capital f of x which is the probability that capital x takes a value small x is given by the integral from minus infinity to small x of capital F of x. And in this particular example, we will have to do it step by step the way we will do in any such example. First of all, we compute capital F of x for the range x lying between minus infinity and 0 and the integral of 0 from minus infinity to x comes out to be 0. Next, for the range x lying between 0 and 2, our capital F of x is given by the integral from minus infinity to 0 of 0 plus the integral from 0 to x of x over 2, which is our PDF for the range 0 to 2. And students, computing this quantity, capital F of x comes out to be x square over 4. Finally, for the range x lying between 2 and plus infinity, capital F of x comes out to be the integral from minus infinity to 0 of 0 plus the integral from 0 to 2 of x over 2 plus the integral from 2 
to x of 0 and computing all these integrals, the answer comes out to be 1. Students, ye jo akhri answer hai, ye 1 kyu aya hai? Isliye ke hum ye jo area capital F of x jo hum compute kar rahe hai, the area from minus infinity up to a certain point x, agar hum 0 to 2 ki range se bhi aage nikal gaye hai, to zahir hai ke wo pura ka pura area jo 0 to 2 ke darmiyan us line ke under tha, yani 1, wo pura ka pura us ke under aagya hai. Lehaza, hamara jo integral hai, ya hamara jo area hai from minus infinity up to a certain x value beyond x equal to 2, is puri range ke under. 0 to 2 wala pura area 1 jo hai that is covered. As you now see on the screen, the combination of all these results gives us the following picture. Capital F of x is equal to 0 for all x values that are less than 0. Capital F of x is equal to x square over 4 for any x value that lies between 0 and 2 and capital F of x is equal to 1 for any x value that is between 2 and plus infinity. Students, aapko yaad hai na ki is problem mein abhi ek part aur baqi hai and that is perhaps the most exciting one that we also wanted to find a conditional probability. I will take up this particular point in the next lecture and in the meantime, I would like to advise you to practice with all the concepts that you have done today. Aapne realize kiya hoga ke in lectures mein itni gunjaish nahi hai ke hum 5, 6, 8 ya 10 examples kar sake. But you have the textbook and I hope that you are also making the effort to acquire material from other many books. So I would like to advise you to practice and practice and practice because as you know, practice makes a man perfect and a woman too. So aap practice kijiye, inshallah you will find that you are comfortable with the concept of continuous probability distributions. My very best wishes to you and until next time, Allah Hafiz.